Hi everyone, my name is John Cottrell and I'm going to be teaching a Power Hour class right here at 21st Yoga in Salt Lake City. We're going to be focusing on core, core stability, core strength, core endurance. So that'll be part of our vinyasa flow today. Now I won't be working with any props for our practice today, but you're always welcome to use props. If you need a block or a blanket, you know, actually a blanket or even a bolster um, for your shavasana practice is always nice, but we really won't be using any props during our practice today. Alrighty, let's just go ahead and begin. So we're gonna start in mountain pose. So I invite you to start standing near the top of your mat. You might stand with your feet about hip distance apart with your toes pointing directly forward. I suggest that you stand like this just for a couple of breaths, just to establish a balance and stability and strength in the lower half of your body. You can always change that posture if you need to. You might wanna step your feet outward a little bit. You can even turn your toes outward, just as long as you feel steady and strong. Feel free to close your eyes or just soften your eyes. And just tune into your breath. Just notice that you are breathing. Just steady breaths in and out. Now breath is the key to our practice today. We'll be relying quite a bit on the breath, especially as we connect to our center, our core strength, stability. As you're tuning into your breath, just notice the feeling of the breath as it moves through your body. Even listen to the sound of your breath. That means if you need to turn up the volume of your breath, just go ahead and do that so you can hear your breath. Taking this opportunity to move inward, to get a little deeper inside of self. When we work core, that's, we're really working from our center body. So we really want to connect to that space. You might even rest your hands lightly on your low belly. Now, as you breathe in, feel your breath rising upward to fill up your lungs. Nice expansive feeling, even a lightness in your body. Filling up your lungs. And as you exhale, let's draw a navel inward towards spine. It's a light contraction of your abdominal muscles. We call this the abdominal lock. So again, as you breathe in, just feel the lifting and lengthening of your spine. Feel the breath rising to fill up your lungs. Exhale, draw navel inward towards spine. Feel that light, light muscle engagement. Again, the abdominal lock. Take three more breaths like this, keeping this connection to your center body. I'll remind you of your breath as we move together, giving you breath cues as we flow, helping us to connect to our center. Take one more breath in and out. Let's begin our movement together. Inhale, let's extend the arms overhead, a nice reach, good stretch. Exhale, let's fold forward, a good hinge from your hips, bending your knees a bit as you need to, making your way down. Now you don't have to touch your toes here, Maybe your hands land lightly at your shins. I'm just gonna turn this way so you can see another perspective of the pose. Inhale, slide your hands up to your knees or thighs to extend your spine, a long flat back. Exhale, let's fold back down just for a breath or two. Maybe you'll start to feel a stretch, a lengthening down through your hamstrings, even a release down through your back. Even feel free to maybe shake out your shoulders, your head, your neck a little bit if you need to. Now go ahead and lean back into your heels. Bend your knees, it'll feel like you're sitting down. Maybe extend your arms out to the side. Let's rise up all the way, standing up tall. Reach into the sky. Exhale, bring your palms together, and now down to your heart. Let's do that same sequence again. That's our half salute to the sun. Inhale, extend your arms into the air. A nice stretch. Exhale, leading with your heart. Fold forward, soft knees, carefully making your way down. Again, you don't have to touch your toes, but you might. Inhale, rise up halfway, monkey pose, sliding your hands to your knees or thighs, extending your spine. Exhale, let's fold. Again, another pause right here. And if you take a peek up here, you might even notice that I'm not even touching the floor. My hands are just lightly on my shins, but I can still feel this in my hamstrings. And I stretch and release, there's a slight bend in the knees. And again, feel free to hang heavily forward. Maybe just to loosen any tension. You might be holding some tightness in your shoulders, your neck, your head. You just shake it all out. Then 
lean back into your heels, bend your knees. Let's inhale and come back up to a standing position, reaching into the air, big stretch. Exhale, bring your hands together and back down to your heart. Let's just pause here for a moment. Just return to that sensation of breath, that inhale where you feel the lifting and lengthening of spine, that expansion in the lungs, exhaling to engage in your center. Let's continue, let's add on to our sequence. Inhale, extend your arms into the air, reaching high. Exhale, let's swan dive forward. Inhale, let's rise up halfway and slide your hands up to your knees or thighs, extending your spine. Exhale, bend your knees enough so you can place your hands on your mat in front of you and just go ahead and step back into plank pose. Let's pause here for a moment. Press firmly into the floor with your hands, good extension through your spine, energy in your feet. Even feel your hips, your hamstrings, and even calves lift up slightly towards the ceiling. Let's take a breath in. This exhale, you're welcome to bring knees to the floor, then chest lowering down towards the mat for Chaturanga Dandasana. Just a variation. Roll the shoulders back, squeezing shoulder blades together. Just a slight lift of chest for a low cobra. Breathe in. Exhale, let's push back to hands and knees, curl your toes, lift your hips up into the air. You'll be in downward facing dog. You might need to adjust a little bit your hands and your feet just to settle into your posture. You can even do some movement here, maybe pressing one heel down, then the other, like you're pedaling a bicycle or walking. So you get a stretch for your calves, your toes. You might even notice sensation in the soles of your feet. Let your knees bend, even allow your hips to shift side to side. There's a little movement here. And as we're doing that with the lower half of the body, also be aware of your hands on your mat. Maybe spread out your fingers a little bit. Press firmly into the floor. Feel the strength and length in your arms. Come back to stillness and down dog. Let's get ready to move. Breathe in. As you exhale, walk, step, or jump. Both feet back up to the top of the mat. Once you're there, inhale, rise up halfway. Exhale, let's fold. Lean back into your heels, bend your knees, inhale, let's come back up to standing, reaching high. This exhale, take chair pose. We're gonna go right into that seat. Utkatasana, right here. Breathing in, good extension out through your arms. Exhale, let's dive out of the seat, back down towards toes, forward fold. Inhale, rise up halfway. Even feel like you're moving forward with the crown of your head. Exhale, bend your knees, hands to your mat. Hop or step back into plank pose. Just a pause as we breathe in. This exhale, as you're able, finish your push-up. Come down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Shoulders roll back, heart opens. Long legs, pointed toes behind you. Exhale, curl toes, hips into the sky. Downward facing dog. Just settling in a little bit, but let's keep this flowing. Inhale, extend your right leg up, reaching back nice and long. Exhale, guide right foot up to the top of the mat. Let's turn left heel to the floor behind you. If you notice, I've shifted the weight back a bit, so I put a lot more pressure in that back foot. So I can easily lift hands, reaching forward. Inhale, rising up, warrior one. Exhale, let's fold, let's bring hands back down to the mat. Let's step back into plank pose. Finish your push-up, come down. Now, you can always bring knees to the floor first if you need to. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Settling in, ready for the other side. Inhale, extend left leg up, reaching back. Exhale, guide left foot now up to the top of the mat. Let's turn right heel to the floor. Let's get that body shift back to find balance. Inhale, lifting arms, reaching into the sky. First warrior. Exhale, folding again, bringing hands back down to the mat. Let's step back into our plank pose, complete your sequence. Now you could skip all this if you need to, any time in your practice, and go right into downward facing dog from plank pose. Finishing that vinyasa, meeting together here and downward facing. Take a breath. All right, we're going to the floor for this next sequence. Go ahead and bring your knees down to the mat. Let's take a seat, swing the legs around to the front. Find the center of your mat here. We're gonna go ahead and lie down. <clears throat> now we are eventually gonna move into bridge pose, but let's do a little core work here on the floor. 
So just go ahead and lie down. Maybe just find a comfortable position. Make this nice connection to the ground. Bend your knees, feet flat on the floor. Now we're gonna do what I call a pelvic rock. Moving the pelvis in a way to activate the low abs here. All right, first we're gonna inhale and arch your back, which means you're gonna create this low, this space in your low back. Now if you can see me, I'm sliding my hand underneath me because I've made this little space. I call that the low bridge. So I'm arching my back, which means I've tilted the pelvis. Now I'm gonna exhale, tilting pelvis the other way to press low back down into the floor. Now I can't find that low bridge. I can't get underneath. Do that again. Inhale, arch your back. That's the low bridge. It's like a little back bend. Exhale, press low back into the floor. Navel draws down towards spine. Do that a few more times. And I'll explain what's happening here. Now as we exhale, drawing navel down towards spine with that pelvic tilt, we're also activating the transverse abdominus muscles. Now that's the low region of the abdominal system. I call it the abdominal floor. And we're, we're actually just flexing those muscles. And we get, we get that part of the body strong. It really supports the entire body. It's really a good base that we're building for the rest of our bodily movements. So we wanna energize and strengthen that space. Now do this one more time. Inhale, arch your back. Exhale, press low back into the floor. We're gonna hold this position. Hold the posture, but make sure you're still breathing. You don't wanna stop breathing here. But I've, I've kinda of hollowed out the belly. I'm still breathing. Now when I breathe in, I'm just bypassing the belly with the breath, expanding up through the lungs. And as I exhale, just keep feeling that abdominal contraction. Feeling the low back press into the ground, belly button draw down towards the earth as well. Keep breathing and feel that activation. Two more breaths. From here, we're gonna be moving right into bridge pose. Keep that hollowed out feeling. Now you might create robot arms. You're gonna bend your elbows, bend your arms at 90 degrees and have your, the backs of your arms just press into the floor. So with another exhale, press feet and your elbows down into the mat to lift your hips up into the air. And there's our bridge. Now if you can, you might rock your upper body left and right just a little bit just to squeeze your shoulder blades together underneath you to engage your upper back if you can. Also, if you can interlace your fingers underneath you, go ahead. I'm gonna keep rocking left and right a little bit so I can get my shoulders underneath. And if I squeeze and engage, I can feel that activation in the upper back. So it's a nice way of supporting. Since we're working core, sometimes we think it's just your abs when we work core, but you're working your whole torso. And in this case, upper back, engaging to find support, but also low back in this case since we're in a back bend. Two more breaths. Nice expansion in the lungs as you breathe in. Exhaling to connect. All right, let's release the fingers if they're folded underneath you. Wiggle the toes forward a little bit. Extend your arms straight up into the air or behind you and just carefully, slowly roll your way back down to the mat. Let's do a little stretch here. Extend your legs out front. Reach your arms behind you. Reach and stretch. Now you're gonna inhale and draw your knees in towards chest. Exhale and start gently rocking forward and back a couple of times until you have enough momentum to rise up to seated. We're gonna to come to boat pose. Alrighty, so we wanna start with a nice extended spine. So you might sit up nice and tall here at first. That's a nice in breath. We're gonna to exhale to engage that abdominal lock. And like you're in a lazy boy reclining chair, you're just gonna lean back, maintain that long spine. As you do that, you might be able to lift your feet up off the floor. Hold on to the backs of your knees if you need to, just to maintain that length in your spine. As you're breathing, we're still feeling that length that lifting, that lightness, and the exhale to engage. You can even release here if you'd like. If you start to shake, that's okay. It just means your body is working. It's all good. All right, we're gonna move from here, breathing in. 
exhale. If you can, cross legs, roll forward, catch yourself in your hands in front. You can just hop or step back into plank pose. Let's take a little shortcut to down dog. You can do this anytime. Just bend your knees a little, send your hips into the air. There's our downward facing dog. Let's continue with lunges. Inhale, extend your right leg up, reach away. Let's bend the knee, opening up through the hip a little bit. Our exhale, let's bring right foot up to the top of the mat. Left heel turns to the floor, shifting weight back, rising up to our first warrior. Exhale, let's open up to a warrior two. Make some adjustments underneath you with your feet if you'd need to. Right knee and toes pointing forward, reaching out. Now let's follow the right arm forward, extending, angled upper body. Let's rotate the arms, right hand coming down, left hand reaching up into the air for a side angle pose. Nice extension here. You might even reach your left hand over your head if you'd like to feel a nice stretch and extension down through the left side of your body. Now we're going to be doing this pose in a different way the next time we get to it because we can really start working the obliques, which is the side portions of the abdominal system. Here we're just getting a good stretch. Breathing in, let's exhale, turn the body, bring your hands back down to the mat. Let's step back into plank pose. Let's add something here. Bring your knees to the ground. So you're on a little tabletop. Now you're gonna make a little kick stand with your right foot. Just gonna swing your right foot off to the right side. Extend the left leg back, just like so, keeping toes on the floor. You really just lifted your knee off the floor and then just open up sideways like this. This is just a side plank variation. Another nice opening through this side of the body. Let's continue with that side body stretch by lifting or reaching your arm overhead. If you'd like, just an option, maybe flex your left foot and you can lift it into the air if you want, just an option. Breathing in. Let's exhale, let's turn, so we're gonna bring the left hand to the floor, left knee to the floor, bring your kickstand back in. Let's do a cat and cow. Inhale, lift head and heart, arching the back. Exhale, round it all out. Do that a couple more times. Now, if you're th thinking about this, it's very similar to what we just did on the floor, on our backs. We arch the back, and then we kind of rounded it all out to engage the belly. We did that low bridge. All right, let's meet up in a neutral position right here on hands and knees. Let's step the hands forward a little bit, spread out your fingers, press firmly into the ground with your hands, strong arms, curl your toes, lift your knees and hips into the air. Ready to return to down dog and for the other side. Inhale, extend left leg up, reach away, bend, twist open. There's a hip opener. As you exhale, unwind, step left foot up to the top of the mat, right heel turns to the floor, shifting the weight back, rising up, warrior one. Exhale, here's our warrior two. Again, make some adjustments here as you need to. Maybe a wider stance. Good energy through the arms. Let's take our side angle by reaching forward out over this right leg, sorry, left leg. Rotate your arms. Left hand reaches down, right arm reaching up initially. And then again, if you'd like, reaching over your head, nice side body stretch. Couple breaths. Let's breathe in. And the exhale, let's turn and bring hands down to the mat. Let's step back into plank pose. Pause, bring knees to the floor. Let's do the other side. So you make a kickstand with the left foot, swing it out to the side. We're doing our side plank variation. Extend the right leg back and let's open up. Reaching into the air. Good extension. Reaching right arm overhead if you'd like. And if you'd like even flexing the right foot, lifting it into the sky. Nice reaching in these opposite directions. Very good. Let's take a breath in and our exhale. Let's return to the mat, right hand down, right knee down, bring the kickstand back in. Let's do another set of cat and cow. It's a little back bend in cow right here. That's our in breath. Exhale, round it out. Do it a few more times. This is a nice undulation of the spine. Nice conditioning for the back body, but also allows us to keep engaging the belly too. Because as you exhale into cat, draw navel up towards spine, feel that nice engagement. 
Let's return to our tabletop posture. Let's step the hands forward a little bit, curl toes, lift knees and hips, return to your downward facing dog. Let's continue with our lunges. Inhale, extend right leg up, bend and twist. Exhale, unwind, right foot up to the top of the mat, left heel turns to the floor, rising up, warrior one. And our exhale opening to warrior two. Now here's that variation. I'm gonna spin around so I can see you guys and you can see me better. Here we are. So our first pose, we did a side angle. This is a variation, I call it victorious warrior. So you're gonna reach out, follow the right arm forward, reach, keep that arm there. Bring your left arm up and over, like so. Bring your, or turn your palms towards each other. Keep reaching, nice extension through the arms here as if you're reaching out to grab something. It's like your atlas and you're holding on to the globe right here. Reaching, now really stabilizing through the sides of the body. The more tipped over we are, the more engagement we have. Even if you can, a little rotation towards the ceiling. Just a little bit, not much. Let's breathe in. Our exhale, we're gonna turn, return to the mat. Let's step back into plank pose. Hold. Now right side plank again. Now the first time we brought the knee to the floor, but if you can, Stack the legs, stack the feet. To keep the legs strong here, flex your feet. That will help a lot. Now if you need to, yes, you can bring that right knee to the floor, no worries. Nice extension, either right up towards the ceiling or over your head, yes you can. Lift your left foot into the sky. Let's breathe in. Exhale, return to plank pose. Finish your vinyasa, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's do that same lunge series, other side. Inhale, left leg swings up, reach, X, bend and twist. On our exhale, let's unwind, left foot up to the top of the mat, right heel turns to the floor, rising when you're ready, reach. Exhale, opening to warrior two. Ready for our victorious warrior, reaching out. Angled upper body, stay there. Left arm stays there. Right arm comes up and over. Let's turn the palms towards each other. Good reaching sensation with this angled body. Now if you feel like you're turning or falling to the, towards the floor, open up more towards the side of the room. Reach. Maybe a nice emphasized exhale to engage the obliques or the sides of the body. Let's breathe in. And our exhale will turn. Hands back down to the mat. Step back into plank pose. Hold, ready for our side plank posture. Left hand stays on the floor, opening up. Remember, you can bring the left knee to the floor if you need to or want to. Now be aware if your hip is sinking to the ground, we wanna keep the hip lifting up towards the ceiling like so. That right arm reaching into the sky to help that lift, and of course that optional right leg lift. And again, if you're shaking, because I am a little bit here too, no worries. Just means you're working hard. Breathing in, good job. Exhale, let's turn, hands back down to the mat. Let's finish our sequence. Come on down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Jump, step, or walk. Both feet back up to the top of your mat. Inhale, rise up halfway. Exhale, we'll fold. Weights in the heel, soft knees, inhale, reverse your swan dive. Come all the way back up, that's it. Reach into the sky. Exhale, bring your arms down by your side. Ah, yes, take a moment, maybe shake all of that out. That was a nice, good warm up for the entire body. Shaking it out, breathing in and out. All right, we're gonna add a little bit of a twist for our next segment here. Now we're gonna go into a chair pose that we're gonna twist. Again, we're working in obliques, so follow me. If you like, you can bring the feet together so the feet touch, something like this, or keep them hip distance apart, either one. Inhale, let's reach into the sky. Exhale, take your chair pose. Go ahead and bring hands to heart center. Make sure you have a lot of weight shifted back into the hips and heels. 
Good core connection, long spine at this angled position. We're gonna breathe in, exhale and twist to your right. Just a mild rotation is just fine. I'm just gonna mirror you here. And a few breaths. Again, with that emphasized exhale. That way you might even feel that engagement in your obliques or the sides of your body to maintain your pose. Let's breathe in. As you exhale, let's unwind. Even just place your hands on your thighs here as the body just comes back to neutral. Then we'll inhale to stand up tall, reach into the air. Exhale, return to chair pose. Bring hands to heart center. Let's do the other side. Breathing in. This exhale, twist to your left side. Nice slight rotation. You're certainly welcome to sit back and down a little deeper, maybe twist a little bit more, but not absolutely necessary. As long as you feel like you've rotated your torso, you've done the work. And again, those emphasized exhales, feeling this in the side bodies there. Obliques, very actively working for us. Let's breathe in. And our exhale, let's unwind. Again, hands on thighs, just to come back to neutral. We're in a flow. We're going to stand up tall. Here we go. Inhale. Extended mountain. Reach into the sky. Exhale. Swan dive. Let's keep it going. Inhale. Monkey pose. Long flat back. Exhale. Bent knees. Hands to the floor. Step back into plank pose. Come right down. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Let's add another twist. Follow me. Inhale. Extend right leg up. Bend and twist open. This exhale, bring right knee underneath you towards left elbow. I say towards because you don't have to touch the elbow. The knee is just pointing towards the elbow. Let's inhale, take it back up into the sky behind you, down dog. Exhale, right foot returns to the top of the mat, warrior one. Let's just keep it moving, rising up high. Exhale, opening to warrior two. Right into our victorious warrior, reaching out. Angled upper body, rotate the arms, reaching. Outward in our V shape. Breathe in. Exhale, let's turn. Bring hands back down to the mat. Step back into plank pose, completing the sequence. Come on down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right away, other side. Inhale, left leg up and at him. Bend and twist open. It's just a hip opener. The exhale, bend the knee. Bring the knee underneath you towards right elbow. I call this a core twist. Let's take this back up into the sky. Inhale, exhale, left foot to the top of the mat, warrior one. Inhale, rising. Exhale, opening, warrior two. Victorious warrior, reaching out. Right hand up and over, reaching, good extension. Still in motion, breathing in. Exhale, turn, hands back down to the mat. Stepping back into our plank pose, completing the series as you'd like. You might even just go right into downward facing dog. Here we are, meeting together here. All right, bring your knees to the floor. Now you're gonna bring your elbows to the floor, like so. Now you can keep the elbows or arms parallel like this, or you might even make a triangle shape by just bringing the hands closer together like so. You really wanna press down into the floor with your forearms and hands. So you're not collapsing. Did you see how I just collapsed like that? We wanna press away to get that broadening of the upper back. Stay just like that. You can extend your legs back, lifting knees off the ground, toes on the floor. Core engagement, so belly button's pulling up towards spine. You can even lift hips a little bit more so you don't sink into that low back area. Now I like this posture for core stability and strength. I think we get a little bit more core activation, more so than a regular plank. I'm gonna call this dolphin plank. I call it dolphin plank because we're gonna be moving into dolphin pose. Let's do that now. Tiptoe forward. Bending the knees, hips into the air. We're not going to be here too long. It's really just a transitional pose because you're going to come back up onto your hands, return to downward facing dog. Couple breaths here. Now go ahead and bring your knees to the floor and sit back briefly in hero. Just taking a few breaths. 
Now, while you're resting, I just want to demonstrate something quickly, and we'll do it together. This is just a transition that we're going to be doing together. All right, so stay where you are. I'm going to come to a warrior two. We're going to move into our victorious warrior. Nice reach right here. I'm going to turn this pose into a side plank. My left hand is in the air. I'm going to inhale, exhale, turn. Bring this left hand to the floor. Now my foot behind me is pointing towards the walls, but I need to spin the foot so now it's facing you. Then I'm going to slide my right foot back and I open up into my side plank pose. That's the first part. We're going to breathe in. See how I lifted the hip here, reaching into the sky. The exhale, I'm going to bend this arm, slowly turn, bring this elbow to the floor at an angle just for balance, and reopen to the other side. So we're here, breathing in. Exhale, we're coming down to our dolphin plank. We'll hold here. I'm gonna throw a little surprise at you later. I'm not gonna show you just yet. Tiptoe forward, knees bent, hips into the sky, downward facing, I'm sorry, dolphin pose. Then we'll lift up like this to our downward facing. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and meet together in downward facing dog. Let's go through that sequence together. So downward facing. Starting with the right leg, here we go. Inhale, reach up. Bend and twist. Exhale, right knee underneath you towards left elbow. Yes, we're still doing that. Right leg back up into the sky behind you, reach. Right foot to the top of the mat, warrior one. Left heel turns to the floor, rising up. Exhale, warrior two. Victorious warrior, reach out. Left hand up and over, V-shape. Arms reach, inhale. Left side plank. As we exhale, we're turning, bringing the left hand down to the floor. We need to spin the left foot all the way around. Slide this right foot back, stack it on top of the other. Remember, it's okay to bring that left knee to the floor if you need to. Breathe in, lift that hip. Exhale, bend this right elbow. Turn so you can bring this arm softly and lightly down to the floor at an angle spine. Opening up to side plank on the elbow. Lift that hip, breathe in. Exhale, dolphin plank, both arms to the floor. Now we're gonna hold here. And we're gonna do this little pulse. Now we're just gonna push through the toes. You may have to peek up here. I'm gonna exhale and push forward. Inhale, pull back. Exhale, push forward. Inhale, pull back. Exhale, push forward. Do that two more times on your own. Now tiptoe into dolphin. Hold for a second, downward facing dog. Other side, inhale, extend left leg up, bend and twist. Exhale, left knee underneath you towards right elbow. That's it, back up into the sky, you've got this. Left foot to the top of the mat, warrior one. Right heel turns to the floor, let's rise up. First warrior, exhale, second warrior, victorious warrior, reaching out. Right arm up and over, V-shape, breathe in, right side plank, exhale, turn. Right hand comes down to the floor, spin the toes. Left foot slides back, stacked. Remember to lift that left hip up, breathe in. Exhale, bend this left elbow, bring that arm gently, lightly to the ground, opening up sideways, side plank on the elbow, breathe in. Exhale, right elbow to the floor, dolphin plank. Now remember to keep those hips up slightly high so you don't sink into the low back. Let's do those pulses three times. Exhale as we push forward. Two and three. Dolphin. Downward facing dog. Three breaths here. After our third breath, we're going to the floor. Boat. Now if you can, exhale, hop forward, cross legs, take a seat, right into boat pose. Here. Ah, how are you feeling out there? Oh my gosh. Shaking, a little sweaty. <laughs> Grab some water if you need to. Wipe that sweat from your brow. Ah, I know you are working hard. Alrighty. Now, just like we did that little pulse down on our dolphin plank, let's do something similar here, just to get a little bit more core activation. 
We're going to inhale, push feet forward, lean back a little. Exhale, bring knees and chest towards each other. Do it again. Inhale, lean back. Exhale, bring it in. One more time. Inhale, push away. Exhale, bring it in. Hold. We're still holding. Bring the feet to the floor. Ah, guess what? I'm going to let you lie down. <laughs> Let's come back to that bridge pose. But we're going to start with that, that low bridge, that little bridge practice we did earlier. Inhale, arch your back. Exhale, press low back down into the floor. Do that two more times. Still, we're just reconditioning those low abs, transverse abdominus muscles there. That core stability, that abdominal floor. Hold on the last one. Hollow up the belly as best as you can. We're still breathing. Breath fills up the lungs. Each exhale, you're still contracting those abdominal muscles. Let's go into our bridge. You can place your arms on the floor or just use elbows. With another exhale, hollow out belly. Lift hips up into the air. Maybe get the shoulders, your arms a bit underneath you. Squeeze shoulder blades together. Remember working core, upper back, low back, and of course, our front section here. Two more breaths. Let's wiggle the toes forward a little bit, making space in our low back, extend the arms into the air, releasing the shoulders out from underneath, and then rolling back down to the ground. Let's do another stretch. Let's extend the legs out front, arms out back, reach. Inhale, draw knees to chest. Exhale, begin your rocking sensation. So you can return to boat, not here long, just as a transition. We're gonna inhale, just kind of lift yourself up. That's it. Exhale, cross legs if you can, hands in front. Hop or step back, plank pose. Complete the series, coming down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take another quick break. Bring your knees to the floor if you're welcome or if you're able. Sit back into hero pose just for a little bit. If this is a, this is a good time to get a little sip of water while I demonstrate something else. And I'm just adjusting my mic here. That's all that's happening right here. Okay, we're going to add another little segment here. All right. <clears throat> Let me just show you. You can just rest. So downward facing dog. I'm going to extend my left leg up into the air. Bend, twist. It's just a hip opener. Left knee towards right elbow. You might touch it, take it back up into the sky, bend and twist, but keep twisting and flip it over until you're in wild thing. I like to turn the feet around so all 10 toes are pointing in the same direction, so I have a good foundation. And we'll do a little extra lift if you're able, reach into the sky. Then we're gonna take a seat right here. Now you might be slightly off the mat and on the mat. That's okay. Boat pose. You'll end up facing the opposite direction. Here's our boat. We're going to do three pulses. Inhale, reach, exhale, bring it in three times. Now, because I started with the left leg to flip over, you're going to start with the left leg here. I'm going to cross my left over right, bring that foot to the floor, spin around. So my fo left foot's on the floor and take that right leg up into the air. And then we'll continue with the series. Okay, it's already, already stuff that we've done before. Okay, let's try that. Let's come to a downward facing dog. Hopefully you're well rested and we're ready to go. Let's start with the right leg. Inhale, extend right leg up. Bend and twist. Get the second twist, exhale, right knee, left elbow. Take it back up into the sky, bend and twist again. If you're able, flip the dog into wild thing. All right, both feet on the floor, plant it into the ground, lift, reaching up into the sky. Take a seat right where you are. You don't have to scoot over at all, just sit. Come to boat pose. Find it. Inhale, push feet forward, lean back. Exhale, pull it in. Two more times. Inhale, push away. Exhale, bring it in. One more. Inhale, push away. Exhale, bring it in. Hold. Right foot crosses over the left. Bring that right foot to the mat. Spin around. Left leg can extend up into the sky. Warrior one. Left foot to the top of the mat. Right heel turns to the floor, rising up here, reach. Exhale, open to warrior two. 
Let's take a regular side angle here, just for a little something different. Just to remember that victorious warrior and this pose are pretty much the same. Breathe in. Exhale, turn, just bring the hands to the floor. Step back, plank pose. Let's take a shortcut to downward facing dog. Let's do the other side. Inhale, extend left leg up, reach, bend and twist. Exhale, left knee underneath you towards right elbow. Back up into the sky, bend and twist. Flip the dog as you're able. Feet planted to the floor, lifting hips. Maybe reaching into the air with the left hand. Take a seat right where you are. Boat, facing the other direction. Ex or inhale, push away. Exhale, bring it in. Two more. Inhale, push away. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, push away. Exhale, bring it in. Hold, crossing left over right. Left foot's on your mat. Spin around. Right leg extends up into the air. Reach. Right foot to the top of the mat. Warrior one. Rising up. Exhale, opening warrior two. Let's take a regular side angle. Reaching out, right hand down, left hand up. Take a breath or two. Nice extensions here. We're still working the side of the body, just not as intensely <laughs> as the victorious warrior, right? Inhale, here we go. Exhale, turn, hands to the floor. Let's step back into plank pose. Take a shortcut, downward facing dog. Take a couple of breaths. Jump, step, or walk, both feet up to the top of your mat. Inhale, rise up halfway. Exhale, fold. Weights in the heels, bend your knees. Inhale, reverse your swan dive. Coming all the way back up, reach into the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart. Very nice. Take a few breaths. Just as we did at the beginning of our practice, feet rooted into the earth, as you breathe in, that nice extension through the spine, breath rising to fill up your lungs. Don't forget that core engagement. You might be slightly out of breath. Don't worry about it. Just be aware that you are breathing. It's all good, right? Let's go through a sequence together. Starting with the chair pose with a twist. Here we go. Inhale, reach into the sky. Exhale, take chair pose as you're taking your seat. Bring hands to heart center. Breathe in for length and spine. Exhale, twist to your right. Inhale in the twist. Exhale, unwind from the twist. Fold forward. Monkey pose. Inhale, crown forward. Exhale, bend your knees, hands to the floor. Hop or step back, plank. Come right down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Follow me. We got a whole big sequence to do here. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, extend right leg up, bend and twist. Right knee towards left elbow underneath you. Exhale to get there. Back up into the sky, bend and twist. Let's add that new thing, flip the dog. It's a back bend, reaching up into the sky, lifting the hips as you're able. Exhale, take your seat. Let's come to boat pose. Inhale, push away. Exhale, crunch. Yes, inhale, push away. Exhale, crunch. One more, inhale, push away. Exhale, lift, hold, cross right over left. Right foot touches the mat, spin around. Left leg up into the sky, good extension. Exhale, left foot to the top of the mat, warrior one. Exhale, opening, warrior two, victorious warrior. Reach, angled upper body. Both arms extending out into the sky. Reach, right side plank, exhale, turn. Right hand comes to the floor. Spin the right foot around, sliding left foot back, right side plank. Inhale, exhale, bend this left arm, bring elbow to the floor, opening up sideways to the other side of the room. Inhale, reach and open, exhale, right elbow to the floor, dolphin plank. Here's our shifts, exhale, push. Inhale, pull back, exhale, Push, inhale, pull, exhale, push. Come back to center there, tiptoe forward, dolphin. Downward facing dog. With an exhale, hop or step, both feet return to the top of the mat. Inhale, extending spine. Exhale, fold, lean back into your heels, bend your knees, inhale, reverse your swan dive. We're going right into the second side, take chair pose. Hands to heart center. 
Breathe in, good length of spine. Exhale, twist to your left. Once you're in your twist, you're gonna breathe in. Exhale, unwind, then fold. Inhale, rise up halfway, monkey. Exhale, bent knees, hands to the floor. Hop or step back, plank. Come on down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're on to the other side. Inhale, left leg into the air. Bend and twist. Exhale, left knee underneath you towards right elbow. Let's take it back up into the sky. New part, bend and twist. Flip the dog, wild thing. Right, or the feet are firm on the floor. Lifting up into the sky, breathe in. Exhale, take a seat. We're coming to our boat pose with our crunches. Inhale, push away. Exhale, crunch to center. Inhale, push. Exhale, crunch. One more, inhale, push. Exhale, crunch, cross left over right. Left foot on the mat, spin around. Right leg up into the sky, reach. Right foot to the top of the mat. Warrior one. Exhale, warrior two, victorious warrior. Reach, arms extending, V-shaped. Reaching out, breathe in. Exhale, left side plank, so left hand comes to the floor. Spin the foot around behind you. Slide right foot back, stack it on top of the other. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bend this right elbow, bring it to the floor. Opening up sideways again. Side plank, lift that hip, inhale. Exhale, dolphin plank. Hold here, here's our little pushes. Exhale as you push through the toes forward. Hopefully you feel that in your core system. Come back to center, dolphin. Tiptoe forward, hips high. Downward facing dog. Back to boat. Hop forward, cross legs. Boat. All righty, how you doing out there? Holding on, you can rest, it's okay. Now, we're gonna inhale, push away. Maybe a little bit more, yes. Exhale, bring it in, hold. Feel a little nice, nice contraction. Inhale, push away, a little bit more. Exhale. Listen, we're gonna inhale, push away. Stay here on the exhale. I bet we're all shaking. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Inhale right where you are. Exhale, bring it all back up. <sighs> Feet to the floor. <sighs> Cobbler's pose. Ah, <sighs> a little rock left and right. Wow. <sighs> Great work with that. Whew. That's a big sequence. Get you moving. I like sequences like that. They really start with the kind of that core stability just to activate all of that. And then putting it into motion. Core helps us to move. And then we challenge it. And I like throwing in those crunches. Alrighty, so you can just sit up nice and tall for a moment. Just be aware of your breath. If you're still out of breath, that's okay. If you're able at some point, if you're breathing out in and out through the mouth, You'll come to a point where okay, now you can close your mouth. And maybe some ujjayi breathing, ujjayi, kind of that throat breath, where air is moving through the nostrils, but you're using the muscles of your throat to pull the breath in and to kind of press the breath out. We're just bringing control back into the breath effort. If you like, you can even take a little fold here hinging at the hips, send your heart forward. It's okay if the back rounds here, that might even feel good for your back body, especially with all that core stability, especially all those boat poses, right? Even dolphin pose. It's a little rounding here. Again, just notice your breath. Maybe you're starting to calm. And you can take slower, deeper breaths. Let's rise back up. Let's continue with this hip opener just by bringing hands behind you. Roll the shoulders back. Okay, just send the chest forward, a little tip of the chin up. Even just press into your mat just to help expand through your heart space. You may even, may even notice that the hips can open up a little bit more there too. 
just a couple breaths. Nice. How are you feeling now? Just check in, check in with yourself. All righty. Let's return to the ground. Go ahead and lie down. Not really activating at all, just keeping the knees bent, feet flat on the floor. Just feel your body just melt into the ground for a moment, releasing all that activation, all that engagement we've been doing in this practice so far. You may feel a little weighted as you kind of sink into the ground for a moment. So you can really uh, let those muscles relax. Whenever you're ready, just bring your knees in towards your chest. You can just catch your knees and shins in your hands. Let's do a couple things. If you just hold on to your knees and just circle the knees, it kind of gets into your low back and hips. So you might circle one direction and then the other direction just a few times. And then if you'd like, you can kind of rock your whole body left and right, forward and back. Forward and back is gonna be nice here too because you might lift your head a little bit so you can get a little curvature in the back, a little rounding, a little rock and roll there, a little massage for the muscles. Whatever feels good. If it just feels right just to kind of lie here for a moment, just go ahead and do that. You can tell that we're coming towards the end of our practice, and so we want to really send that signal throughout the body, through your mind, that we're coming to our closure. We did twists in our practice. Let's add another twist here. Let's go ahead and take the knees down over to the left side. You can extend your right arm to the right side. And again, just kind of a softening into the pose. An awareness of the breath. You're probably not out of breath anymore, but keep that connection and awareness of your breath here. How about three more breaths? You certainly can stay here longer more breaths, more time. This is really your time. Whenever you're ready to move again, not a rush at all to move, just come back to center. Pause and center, you might even do another little circle uh, before we get to the twist on the other side, just a little massage. And then whenever you're ready, you can take the knees to the other side. Let the body just melt into the ground, settle into this twist, mindful of the breath. I think another nice thing about a core practice or a, a practice like this that really gets the body moving and activated, you know you've worked hard, you know you've put in good effort. And we can find that balance and the balance is make, making sure that you find rest. Because you do so much, you do so much for yourself, you do so much for your family, your friends, your community. It's a lot of effort that you put out. So it's very important that you also take care of yourself. Let's take two more breaths. So this is a practice that can remind us of that. The effort, the work that you put in and the rest that you deserve. Let's come back up to center. Again, maybe a few more circles or any other movement. From here, you're welcome to move right into Shavasana. You can just extend your legs out front, arms down by your side, perhaps with your palms up. Again, maybe just a little wiggle and shift to melt into the ground. And just settle here. Now, you don't have to take Shavasana. It could be any restorative or relaxing pose. You might even just roll onto your side if you'd like. 
You might come to a seated position. Wherever you are, just continue to feel the softness, the ease in your body and mind, acknowledging the work, and now acknowledging the rest. At any time your mind begins to wander, see if you can just take note of that wandering mind. Come back to the present. Do that by taking a deep breath in and a slow breath out. Taking a deep breath takes your full attention and it brings you back into the moment, keeps you present. Again, if your mind begins to wander, just notice and take a deep breath in and out. Come back to this restful moment. Return to the awareness of your breath. The simple awareness that you are breathing. Notice the steady flow of your breath as it moves through your entire body. And perhaps in this engaging, strength building practice, you created some space opened up. And as you're able to send this cleansing, healing breath into these newly open spaces. Now allow your breath to bring movement back into your body. It might start with subtle movements. It might just be a wiggling of your fingers at first. Wiggle your toes and movement in your hands and feet. And just let that movement travel throughout your limbs, through your torso. Even imagine the breath swirling around your core area that you worked so well. And as movement returns slowly and carefully, if you're lying on your back, roll onto your side, just moving into a nurturing pose. It might resemble a fetal position. Just pause there for a few breaths. Just a nice reminder, this nurturing position, that it's good to take care of yourself. It's good to take care of yourself. Take two more breaths. After your second breath, move as slowly as you'd like. Press yourself up 
rising and returning to a seated position. And just settle into this space. You might cross your legs. You can certainly extend your legs. Just something comfortable. Your arms and hands can rest in your lap, or you might bring hands to heart center. Continue to notice the flow of breath. Gentle, easy breathing. On your own, take a full breath in, followed by a complete breath out. And hold in stillness for just a few more moments, breathing gently and easily. And as we complete our practice together, we bow saying, Namaste. Namaste. Thanks everyone for tuning in. You did a wonderful job. Lots of movement, lots of work, some great strength building. So again, thank you for joining me. My name is John here at 21st Yoga. Please feel free to leave a comment. I see some comments out there, so thanks for tuning in and leaving some comments. Hey, tell your friends about what we're doing here at 21st Yoga. We are filming our classes. They can be found on our Facebook page, and they're also gonna be transferred over to a YouTube channel. Just follow, just find us. Uh, it's just uh, 21st Yoga on, our, on YouTube, and you'll find uh, a lot of our classes that we're posting on there. Tell your friends, you can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. You can always find our announcements and things that are happening here at the studio at, on Instagram. Our handle is at 21st underscore yoga. So again, thank you again for tuning in with me. Hope you have a wonderful day. We'll, we'll see you again soon.